everyone, welcome back to the Jack's Chapel Show. And today I'm going to be showing you the third way that you can build $1 million in wealth. And this is the easy, this way requires the least amount of effort, but probably the most discipline and is probably the most common way in history for you to do it. So anyways, we're going to get going here. The most common way for you to build a million dollars in wealth is investing. Yay, Jack's gonna talk about stocks or other sort of investing. So this is by far the most common way that people become millionaires, not multimillionaires, but millionaires. I mean, because this can be done by a lot of average households for the most part, if you start early, especially if you start when you're 20, 25 years old, this is a really, um, reliable way for you to become a millionaire. So I wrote up this example here. Um, if you wanted to become a millionaire by the time you, you know, are supposed to retire at 65. Okay. I know a lot of you want to become a millionaire before that, but this is just so I can cover everyone watching this video, everyone ranging from 20 years old to 55 years old. Okay. So how much would you need to invest on a per day basis at what interest rate in order to, to have a have a million dollar portfolio? So let's just say you're 20 years old. I'm kind of in between right here, but let's just say you're 20 years old. 3% return is, that's not great, but it's, you're at least you're beating inflation slightly. So 3% return is if you're kind of a shitty investor. 5% is if you're average. 7% is if you're really good. All right. Now, as you guys know, like I've had a good return, so I'd be, you know, beyond 7% for the most part. But if you know what you're doing, I mean, you, sh you should be able to get a five to 7% return per year um, over the course of decades too, or years or whatever, as long as, you know, there's going to be a recession, it's going to be ups and downs. That's a whole different thing, right? Anyways, how much would you need to put away when you're 20 years old per day at a 3% return to become a millionaire by 65? That is a mouthful. Sorry, everyone. So I have it written out here, $29 for 3%. $16 for 5% and $9 for 7%. See the big difference that compound interest can do? Look at this. Think about this. If you are a shitty investor, you have to put in th over three times as much money to become a millionaire if you're shit for four percentage points. Four. So that's why this is important to be savvy with the stock market. And th I'm talking about stocks, bonds, even real estate. I mean, real estate at the end of the day is broken down into numbers, into cap rates. Usually a good cap rate is above 6%. So anyways, um, yeah, so this is just some, again, perspective, like how, the difference between you making a three and a 7% return is massive. So it's good to educate yourself on the stock market and, you know, use my strategy. Obviously I have the stock market program, but you, you can check that out of my strategy of what I do. So anyways, if you're 25 years old, 3% return, you need to put down $35 per day, $21 and $12. We're going to go through this as, as quick as possible because I think that you guys would get the message, but I'm going to, you know, just put the numbers here. Um, so if you're 30 years old, 44, 29 and 18. So just some perspective here also is that if you're 20 years old, you have, this is assuming you're doing this over 45 years. So pretty much your entire lifetime. And now when you're 30 years old, you've got 35 years. So you obviously have to put more money away, right? So like just for example, 10 years here, even though that there's 10 years difference between the 10, the 20 and 30 year old, the investment it has to be double. That's what compound interest does. So anyways, we're going to keep going here. 35 years old is you have to put away $56, 39 and 27, 40 years old is 74, 55 and 40, 45, which is <laughs> It's, that's the upper end of my demographic on YouTube for the most part. I mean that there's some, there's older people watching, but for the most part, like there's not a lot of people above 50 watching. <laughs> like 50 is kind of like the peak. So hundred dollars, $80, 63, almost there. Hang on. We got two more. 
145, 123, oh, 123, 103. And lastly, if you want to become a millionaire by 65, when you are 55, that is 235, you need to put away per day, 211, and 189. So if this is going to show you anything, it's the importance of investing early. Okay? Think about this. And, and investing smart, too. So just an example here, investing early. We're going to look at this. Let's just say you're an average investor, 5%, right? If you start investing when you're 20 years old, put away $16 per day, which, that you think about that, that's just the difference between you eating out twice a day, which a lot of people do, like at work or whatever. That's the difference between you eating out twice per day and not eating out, and just packing your lunch. That's the difference, and so that's $16. If you don't do this by the time you're 55, to become a millionaire, you need to put away $211 per day every single day. Every fucking day. That's, and $211, that's what, a 70K salary? So you would need to put away $70,000 per year and invest at 5% if you wanted to become a millionaire. So again, perspective here. Now, I've mentioned this already, but this doesn't just apply to, to stocks. It applies to any sort of investing. Like, yeah, I said real estate already, but you know, people don't think about this, like investing in like advertising for your company. That's investing. If you, 3% return on advertising is kind of shit. I mean, you should see at least 20% return. So for example, if you were to put out $100 in ads, you should at least get $120 back in profit. That's the way it should work. $120 back in revenue, I mean. So $20 profit is what I mean. I mean, that's like the bare minimum. I mean, I know I've had some ad campaigns back in the day where I would run them for $10 and I'd get back 60 bucks. I mean, that was, that was way back when Facebook ads were cheap though too. So that's, that's a whole different story. Anyways here, what kind of investor are you, by the way? Are you a, are you a 3%, 5%, 7%? Are you more? I have seen a couple of you that, you know, actually used my, my course and used kind of that investment strategy. And I know actually one person specifically who said that they had a 60% return in like a month because one, one of the stocks shot up. Now, obviously that's probably, a, that's a lot of luck, but still it's kind of nice to know that a lot of you guys are seeing results and, and learning about the stock market through the program. So that's actually kind of cool. But in terms of the stock market, I mean, a lot of people don't realize this and 70% um, of the returns in the history of the stock market have come from dividends. They haven't come from buying and selling for the equities. They've actually come from dividends, the safe dividends. 70% of the returns have come from safe stocks. They haven't like, cause people, people don't really realize that if you buy a dividend paying stock, at, at the very worst, the stock value will go down, but you'll still get paid. You'll still get paid, you know, three to 5% per year on your investment. But if you're buying and selling, you want to be a day trader or whatever, like you're, it's a good chance you're going to lose money. And I know that I've said this before. There are so many people, especially on the internet that say like, look, I'm a day trader. Or you see those ads like, I'm a day trader. You know, I make a hundred thousand dollars a year. And all I do is go on the computer for one hour a day. I buy and sell one stock and I'm all good. You can do it too. But that's for every one of those guys. There's, there's seven to 10 people that, that lost money, tried doing it. And day trading is a lot of it is a lot of luck. I mean, they're, they're, I know that some people are experienced and some people are good at it. Some people have a good track record, but it's so risky. And I just, I really don't like that. I, I know a lot of you, cause a lot of you know me as, um, from my stock video, a lot of you think that I'm just the, a day trader. I've forgot that day trader, swing trader that I'm on these apps all the time. Like, no, I pay attention to the markets, but I, I'm a long term investor. I'm a guy who will always have a positive return almost every year. And I'm never going to lie to you guys ever. Like I'm, I will almost always have a positive return. I've never had a negative return in a year. I've had like, I think I've guys have told you I broke, um, I broke even on one and I had one negative one actually. So I just, again, I would just recommend all young people watching. Just don't, don't get too into the day trading, swing trading. Yeah, sure. You might find some success. Sure. You might double your money and two days, whatever. Um, but it is, it is so risky. And I just encourage you to try to build up a safer form of income than, than day trading and swing trading. 
I just, sorry, I just get so many emails about people that want to do that and it's not, it's not a good way to go. And I know, like an example, I know a lot of friends that have lost a lot of money in the stock market like years and years and years ago and they just didn't get back into it because they're just discouraged now. They thought that they were just going to buy thousands of dollars worth of a stock that, a tech stock that they thought was going to take off and it goes down five bucks and then they sell it and then they lose money because they're scared. And uh, meanwhile, you put that into something like um, a high dividend ETF that cover maybe like a, an S&P 500 index ETF, right? And you get paid a 3% dividend and you just don't sell it, you're going to do fine. And that's, that's just what I, I th- wish that young people would do. But again, no one's going to listen to me because a lot of people just want to make money quick and they don't want to sell anything. They don't want to talk to anyone. They just want to be on their computer and they just want to buy it. Click a button, click a button. I made $100. Cool. Click a button, click a button. I made $500. That's not how, that's not how the world works. Hope you guys know that. So anyways, back to this here. We have the, uh, the three ways to make a million dollars and uh, the investing one. I just want to end it off with kind of a, a cool story of how like anyone can end up becoming a millionaire when they're old. There was a janitor, on average, he'd get about $40, $40 a year, 40 grand per year adjusting for inflation, right? And he was a janitor for, for five decades or more. And um, he also had some side jobs too, but he would take home 40 to 50 grand a year. And so one day, he unfortunately passed away. He passed away and um, his family just, his family, his friends, he, he didn't really, he wasn't really close to anyone. But uh, he ended up going through a lawyer and it ended up, um, his story ended up going on the news because this janitor that had been making 40 or 50 grand a year for his entire life had a net worth of $7 million when he died. And it was all in his portfolio. And it was all because he was an avid investor and he had the same strategy that I did. It's the buy and buy more strategy. You never sell your stocks. Always, and he also did the only buy stocks that pay dividends. So he had large holdings in McDonald's too, and Coca-Cola, which um, I know I have holdings in, right? I've explained that a million times. But what he used to do is he used to just keep buying those stocks with whatever, a thousand dollars here, a few thousand dollars there. He did that over the course of six decades and he retired. He, he didn't retire. He, uh, by the end of his life, he was one of the wealthiest people, if not the wealthiest person in his neighborhood. And yet no one knew it. No one knew it. He wanted to be a janitor because he liked being a janitor and it was fun. And he, he liked going around and being needed. And he liked having a, he liked having a nine to five, but also knowing that he didn't need that nine to five was very important to him too. So that's kind of the story, how anyone can kind of become a millionaire by just investing properly and over time and and being very disciplined about it. I mean, if this guy didn't invest, start investing, he started when he was actually 20, I think he was 20 years old when he started. And um, so think about that, 60 plus years of investing and it just compounded and he was uh, uh, almost a multimillionaire when he died. So I know a lot of you are probably saying, yeah, but he didn't enjoy his life. He died with $7 million. Well, he died with no stress too. I mean, he, a lot of you wake up every day at a nine to five and be like, oh my God, I really don't want to go into work today. Fuck, why do I need this paycheck, right? I, man, and you're just living paycheck to paycheck. This guy, if he wanted to, he could have quit whenever he wanted and there's no one, no one could have stopped him. He just liked it. Oh, I might've just broke my camera on my phone. Uh, so that's something that you got to think about is that having that freedom to be able to leave your job whenever you want to, is it worth, you know, cutting out your dinners, you're eating out dinners once a week. Cause that's really all you have to do. And maybe some of your stocks, you get lucky and they double up when you're 40 years old. And maybe you have a hundred thousand dollars in holdings in that stock by that time. And all of a sudden it accelerates. Maybe instead of becoming a millionaire when you're 65, it's when you're 50. That's, it's just something to think about. So I think I've been rambling for too long here. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. You're all very beautiful people. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.